All right, what up, y'all? Today, we're going to be talking about the hardest working jobs in the Navy. But before we start this video, man, I got an album called End of an Era. I got the link down in the description. Other than that, man, I don't want to hold y'all up too much. Leave a like and subscribe. Let's get right into it. All right, so the first hardest job, in my opinion, is going to be the CSs. Now, hear me out. A lot of people join the Navy to be cooks. If you are watching this video, just to kind of pick your rate or whatever, understand that if you are going to go be a cs or a cook you're going to be working a lot of long hours cs is a rate that i really respect honestly uh they are the first ones there and the last to leave so my roommate is actually cs he wakes up at like 3 30 in the morning you know to go to work till like from like four sometimes he gets off at nine sometimes he gets off you know at like 7 30 p.m it just depends on his schedule and what happens you know what i mean and also cs's they don't always get weekends off they do like a weird like rotation you know what i mean if you're not underway obviously if you're underway you're working pretty much every day but there is some cool stuff which do come with being a cs you know what i mean you're not always cooking so you can uh go whenever you go to shore duty you can go do admin stuff you can go do a lot of different stuff as cs's you know what i mean i've seen cs's you know fill in as instructors in places or they become rdc's so you're not really limited to that one job but it is a very hard job and i really respect it without further ado let's get right into the second one so the second hardest working job in the navy would definitely be the nukes you know this this list is in no particular order so if you do hear your rate and you are in the navy i'm not trying to compare the level of hardness but i do want to say the nukes i've actually had the pleasure of working with some a couple you know what i mean and they're very hard working individuals they they sit there in the reactor they barely see the sun you know what i mean and they have to be very smart so it's a lot of the really smart people in the navy they go and become nuclear engineers you know what i mean they work in the reactor they try to keep everybody safe and also um what one of my buddies was telling me is he worked on submarines and as a as a nuke you know it was his job to make sure that if the ra reactor or the ship ever sunk that the reactor would be closed so that everyone else would have a chance to survive however there is benefit to being a nuke it pays a lot better i think you get e4 straight out of a school so i mean and you're in a school for most of your contract but i bet you your contract is a lot longer just because you are you know in training a lot longer uh for mcs it's like that i imagine it's like that for nukes too but you know the payoff can be amazing you get a big bonus typically in the navy so you know what I mean? I really respect it. They are a hard working rate. Without further ado, let's get into the third hardest working rate. All right, so the third hardest working job in the Navy, in my opinion, would have to be the DC men, uh, the damage control men. Uh, out to sea, you know, or even in port, you know what I mean? These guys are responsible for fighting the fires on the ship, doing all types of damage control, keeping the maintenance, making sure everybody is safe on the ship. In the Navy, you know, everybody is a trained firefighter nonetheless, uh, but these DC men work especially hard to make sure all of the equipment is maintained. You know, they are a very hardworking rank and ultimately like their job is just to keep everybody safe. So any type of thing that goes wrong, they uh, do lots of drills just, you know, to make sure that they're able to put out fires, all types of things like that. So, I mean, that is a really respectable rate if you are joining the Navy, man. Without further ado, let's get into the fourth hardest rate. All right, so the fourth hardest rate, in my opinion, would have to be the undes airmen, seamen, or firemen. You know what I mean? These guys are not assigned an actual rate. So they're pretty much apprentices to everyone on the ship. There is some benefits to being undes, meaning you can go to different places and really see the way the Navy works. And I think it's for two years, you know what I mean? So you work you work as undes, you do a lot of the maintenance and cleaning and a lot of the things, you know, that not everyone typically wants to do, you know what I mean? So if you are joining as undes, like that is kind of the hard truth of it. You're gonna be working hard and it's probably not gonna be, you know, a lot of fulfilling work. It's gonna be a lot of busy jobs. On the other hand, there is some benefits to being undes because you get to see how everyone else works, you know what I mean? A lot of undes people, they get to see like the best jobs. So maybe they can join as an RP or an MC or, you know, do a lot of the the jobs, you know, later on in their contract to actually do work that they enjoy. But the, the other thing with being undes is like, 
you get assigned to a certain place and then you know they make you they make you just work with some random like the bms or the dc men you know and you're working very very hard the other thing i would say that's difficult about being on des is your ranking up progression is a lot harder uh, because you have to strike a rate before you can hit e4 so you can't just pop out the pop out of a school you know what i mean be an e3 and then get e4 like no you can be you can wake your way all the way up to e3 and then you're going to be stuck there until you pick a rate and if the list of rates available to you after you take the test aren't that great well fuck you're not gonna rank up all right so my fifth hardest job in the navy would have to be a whole technician you know what i mean they work a lot of the metal on the ship they fix the plumbing they do all the types of hard shit you know that not everybody is really wanting to do it's it's a lot of the you know the dirty work and it's very complicated and they do they do a lot of the things you know what i mean that keep the ship structurally sound keep everything running so that everyone else can do their jobs you know what i mean i haven't had much experience with hull technicians but you know what i mean i have you know heard of the rate and frankly i really respect it i can't really see myself ever wanting to be a whole technician but if you are a whole technician man i really respect you because you are obviously a hard-working person you know what i mean so if that is going to be your rate in the navy man leave it in the comments you know what i mean if you have any experience with any of these rates go ahead and leave it in the comments just so you know we can hear your side you know your story because ultimately i want to give everyone a platform to really talk about their job you know in the navy and ultimately the purpose of this channel and this video is just to help you guys you know kind of get an idea of you know what the navy has to offer you know whether it's hardest working jobs or easiest jobs you know what i mean and this is just me coming at it from a civilian perspective so don't think of it as any type of you know official information from any type of command you know what i mean but that is going to be the end of this video man if you like what i had to say go to leave a like and subscribe if you guys want me to do a part two to this video maybe your rate didn't get covered you know what i mean leave it in the comments i'm more than happy to talk about it in a part two to this video uh i really appreciate each and every one of you for showing me some love you know what i mean ultimately man you guys are what make this channel worth doing you know what i mean so yeah appreciate you guys stay blessed peace